Hi, I'm Patrick Dudemeister, and you're watching Zoink TV. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to go over the just the basic interface of 3ds Max. So here we have 3ds Max. It's a 2015 edition uh, student. Um, yours will look something like this if you've got 2015. If not, there'll be slight differences, but this sh this should be. It st should still be good. Uh, you won't have this section, which is V-Ray, uh, like a rendering thing. Uh, I won't go over that now, but yeah, you just ignore that. You don't need that. Uh, so first thing, you've got these four windows. Uh, these are your viewports. So uh, I like to just use one. It's a lot easier because if you've got these, you, you can't really see what you're doing. It's It's not very good. So if you hold alt and press w with this one selected um you'll just use that one window and to me that's so much easier um and it's a lot less daunting as well cuz you haven't got things going off everywhere cuz you've already got enough buttons and everything uh so first i'll go over the movement um if you press in the middle mouse button just press it and hold it you can you grab the screen so you can move it around just like up, move it up, move it down, left and right, whatever. Um, if you just keep that selected. Now, now with that still held down, press Alt and you can move it around. So you can rotate around uh, the grid, rotate around the object. Like so, you can go above, below, just wherever you need to be really, so you can get a good view. So that's put in in the middle mouse button, and then hold Alt. There you go. So you can also use this little widget here, which if you have a look, it says back there. So you just hold the face and you, you can just move it in that direction or whatever. Uh, if you double click a face, now I've gone to the this back side of the object. Uh, you can click go to the front, double click front, you go to the front. Um, yeah, so that's, that's the movement really. Um, up here you've got all the different uh, tools and things you can use and over here as well so first I'll start here if you click on this logo you've got the file uh, import export save everything you need like that properties uh, so if you do need to save uh, which you will that's where you go to uh, also you can just click that once you have created a save file uh, but yeah so these tools here are the ones that you're going to use the most. So you've got select object, move, rotate, and scale. Uh, just those ones that they're the ones you're going to use all the time. So just remember that where they are. You've got select object, move, rotate, and scale. Um, so I'll give you an example of those. Right. So select object will literally select the object. So now I've got this box, click it, it selects it. You can't move it or anything like that, you just select the object. So click it to select it, click off it to deselect it, or unselect it or whatever. Um, now go to move, click on the object, it's selected, now this little widget's come up. So you've got Z there, Y there, and X, and it's green, blue, and red. So always remember the green, blue and red as well or the uh, X, Y and Z uh, if you go as you can see if I hover over this side this bit goes yellow that little stick goes yellow so that means that's you're going to move in that direction so if I hold it and drag that way you drag in the X uh, axis if I hold this bit here so I drag then yeah, dragging the Z axis or that one again the Y axis I just uh, click the left mouse button hold it down move that way or you can go click on this square and you can move it freely now moving freely is a really bad idea um, especially when getting started you can get things just just all over the place it's, it's not a good idea to do that most of the time um, so yeah just stick with the, the single axis and you, you'll be alright so again I'll grab the screen by putting in the pressing in the middle mouse button 
I can just drag it around, zoom out by using the wheel, zoom in using the wheel. Okay, so I'll click off that, I'll click on the rotate, click the object. Now again, look, you've got your green, your red, and your blue, and uh, each one that when it's when you hover over it, it's yellow. So again, clicking the left uh, mouse button, hold it down, you can rotate in that that way if you move your mouse that way. Uh, again, you can move that way or move that way. Just uh, simple. Uh, if you've moved it and you want to go back, press hold control and press Z. There you go. So that's just back step. So yeah, control and Z. Uh, okay, so now the scale. So click it to select. Now you come up with this. Again, it's the colors are the same. You've got green, red, and blue. You can either scale, if you hold down in the Z, you scale up. In the Y, scale outwards like that. In the X, scale that way. If you hold in the middle, so just that yellow in the middle is selected, scale all of it. If you hold this yellow here, you can scale that way, scale this way, or scale that way. So there we have that. Okay, so that's the basic um, movement for the objects. Um, okay, so I'll delete this just by hit click selecting it and clicking the delete key. Right, so over here you've got the different panels. You've got create, modify, hierarchy, motion, display, and utilities. The ones that you'll use all the time are create, modify, and sometimes hierarchy if you want to change the pivot point. Um, but these ones you'll use all the time. So to create a shape, um, these are your shapes here. So with the create one selected, you can just say click on a box, um, drag it out, just like you drag in on Windows where you're making a selection, drag out the box, and drag up, click, and you've got a box. There you go. Uh, if you want to make it a perfect cube, you can go to length, width, and height. So change that maybe to 50 by 50 by 50. Then you've got perfect cube. Again, hold the middle mouse button and Alt to move around it. So yeah, there you have perfect cube. Um, each side is just a flat face, so that's one polygon. If you want to add in more, you can click on the length, width, and height. So you can click there. That'll add in. Okay, that should add in. That's not doing anything. Okay, yeah, here we are. Um, once you have your cube selected, go to the modify and then go on the length. Yeah. So, yeah, so you can go up, change that. So, look, you're getting lots of rectangles now on each face. You can click on here. Uh, so, if you put five on each one, you've got lots of little squares. So, now each one of these is going to be a poly. You won't need that. Well, you might do. I don't know. It depends what you're making. But, uh, yeah, each one of these is a polygon. So, if you need that, fair enough but yeah that's how you change it just click up and down on these arrows or you can click say if you want 30 on that one type 30 you've got loads then um, but yeah uh, that's how you make a cube uh, it's always good to kinda of think ahead and think how many uh, polygons you're gonna need on uh, the edges um, it's, it's good to it's always good to plan ahead but if you don't know you can always add them in later when you need them so yeah I'll delete that okay now you've got the sphere so left click and drag and you've got a sphere there you go you can change the radius here so you can move it up and down there you go or you can make it more round or less round there you go so you just got a weird diamond shape but yeah that's the sphere so yeah, once you've got that selected, there's the uh, parameters for 
how it's going to look. So I'll delete that and go to cylinder. So again, left click and drag to get the overall shape, the well the radius, and then let go, and then you can do the height. So you just click when you've got the height you want. There you go. And there is a cylinder. Again, you can add more sides, make it more round, or decrease the sides, make it less round into a different shape. Uh, or you've got your height um, height segment here. You can add more there. Or the cap, that basically adds more polys to this flat uh, top and also the bottom. So you can add um, more segments or less segments, depending on what you need. Uh, it's usually a good idea to cap with just a um, with just a one uh, one one cap so uh, two cap segments, uh, just because then you've got something there to work with. But if you don't need it, you don't need it. Um, you can also again add it in later. So delete that. Got torus which creates a donut shape if you just drag it you click out click it and drag you got a donut shape you could use this for uh, chains maybe or donuts <laughs> or whatever you want really uh, to click the delete key to delete that uh, again there's the parameters here so you can mess about with those get to get it how you're looking how you want it looking uh, you got a teapot which you never use unless maybe you're practicing rendering rendering uh, but yeah I, I'm not really sure why that's there but there's a teapot so yeah enjoy <laughs> uh, you've got a cone which you click and drag you create the overall base and then create the height and then you can drag down and create a cone shape there you go create it out there you go click when you want it yeah and then again you can change the radius change whatever you need there all your segments your sides whatever you need got a little pyramid shape whatever okay so now you've got geosphere which click and drag out so like before we already had a sphere but I'll show you the difference between these right so if I click the select tool click on one hold control click on another you got two selected now as you can see they look quite different um, this one uses squares that one uses triangles so that's polys this is tries um, depending on what you're making uh, or what software you're going to export it to um, some use polys some use tries will work better with one or the other but I usually just tend to stick with the polys um, you can always change it after but um, yeah that's uh, the difference between those geosphere and sphere so I'll just click on one click the delete click another click delete uh, and now tube so click drag and you've got it doesn't seem to have done anything then but there you go you can move in and get a tube shape there you go click you got your tube uh, again you can change the radius and segments over here so we want to move that you can move that in, you can move that down, whatever you need really. Uh, again, click delete. So the pyramid, click and drag out, just create a shape that you want. Once you've let go, it'll move that out and you can click and there you go. you got a pyramid shape, it's a more of just a triangle. Click delete uh, and then you got plane so you can just draw out a square there you go that's just literally a square you could use it for floors or walls or whatever you want really uh, but you can also make things out of it by connecting um, connecting them together and extruding in different directions and things like that but it's really useful a plane you can also um, again change the segments so if you've just got one polygon or you've got two polygons or four polygons or however many you need really um, but yeah that's the basic uh, geometry so that'll I'll wrap that up for this uh, video uh, it's getting quite long now so 
so hopefully it wasn't too boring for you um but yeah, just keep at it. You'll get used to it. Everything will just become second nature, really. Um, learning new software, it's always the hardest when you first begin and you see the interface. Uh, but yeah, just you know, stick at it. Uh, fight through. Um, if you've got any questions, post them here. Even if it sounds a bit stupid. Uh, some people learn faster than others, or I might not have gone over a certain thing uh, as well as I should. But yeah, just yeah, keep at it. Um, thanks for watching.